Live. Laugh. <laughs> Howdy, this is Daniel. <laughs> that was the fucking weirdest way I've ever started a podcast. We are joined here today by Aloysius Skipper Jenkins the third. You gotta say the whole thing like a tribe called Quest. Um, is that that's a lot. Did I get it right? You were almost you almost had it. Um the correct pronunciation is Aloysius Skipper Jenkins the third. Yeah, I'm saying the whole thing like a tribe called Quest. I know, I know it's a mouthful. Yeah. What's your uh, favorite Tribe Called Quest album? Low in theory. Really? Low in theory. Easy. Next question. Roberto, do you have a favorite? Low in theory. Okay. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I was just surprised that we had the same one. <laughs> uh, if nobody wants to ask me, um, Midnight Marauders. I don't know. It's a little basic, but. As this place. But respectable answer. Yeah. Right. A respectable answer. It's not like we're going, ah, oh, shut the hell up. Nobody likes that. So- <laughs> it's cool. it's not pumpkin spice basic, but <laughs> yeah. Uggs, maybe. Maybe Uggs. I think basic. pumpkin spice is getting too out of control. Did you actually, fun fact pumpkin spice is used to deter snakes in yards. Really? Yes. Fuck, I need pumpkin spice. Uh, you have a lot of snakes in your yard? Yeah, man. No. It's all in the grass. When, when you're this popular, when you're this popping, it's going to be snakes all around. So, yeah, I need fucking pumpkin spice. Keep these fucking vultures from uh, trying to take away from... Do, do you see this? Do, do you see this? I see it, yeah. Isn't that chill? Isn't that what? Isn't that Tim? We are the elevation heavyweight champion. <laughs> Is it like free bird rules where you're you're gonna step in while he's gone? Is joint custody? Is joint custody? You know. Joint custody. Yeah. Does he get it on the? How's that work? Who gets yeah. it when? Um, every two weeks. Who's the fun parent? Who's the fun parent? Yeah. I'm the fun parent. What are you talking about? We we just... went to dinner and I take restaurants, Little Caesars, got discounts, you know. Discounts at Little Caesars? Shit. Do you get, dis- Do you get you... discounts at Little Caesars with that? No further questions. Uh, you know, so... I heard that there was a story about a man whose pizza wasn't hot and ready and he came back with an AK-47. This was on The Breakfast Club today. Really? Was, I'm just curious now. You know I mean, what? They didn't tell me a name, but let me ask again. Does that get you discounts on hot <laughs> and ready? Well, the fact, it's in the name. Hot and ready. Why is it neither? I would be upset too. <laughs> this whole bitch got to go. <laughs> so it's the store's fault. I'm walking into Little Caesars because I want to walk out with a pizza one minute later. Right. If I wanted to wait, I'd go to Papa John's. It's not that much more expensive. I want to eat a whole bag of crazy bread on the way home. That's why I'm here. Right. Stuffed crazy bread with the cheese in the middle? Yes. Yo, have y'all um have y'all seen the code for um Domino's? You can get like a $20 pizza for $7. No. It's the best thing ever. I'll, I'll send it to you. Okay. You no, know, when when you're you know, when you negotiate and you network with people, you know, you, you get trade secrets like that. Yeah. Like, no, I, I know. I know the recipe. So um, I forgot. <laughs> you don't know it. <laughs> I, know, I know the recipe to um, Chick-fil-A's um, chicken batter. How about okay. that? What is it? Let's. I'm not telling news. you. OK. Are you claiming to have a code for Domino's that no one else has? Pretty much. I was just making sure. Is that the is that the pizza version of like the gel broken fire stick? <laughs> yes. It's exactly oh. what it is. The guy who the first guy who gel broke a fire stick, that's my cousin. Really? Yeah. Was he also a Jenkins? Of course. <clears throat> well, how how would you how would you say how would you say his name? That's called snitching. 
<laughs> Roberto, are you a cop? You know you have are to tell us, cop? right? Fair enough. <laughs> this whole time, <laughs> I thought it was racially ambiguous. Turns out you're 12. An inside job. We all bleed blue. <laughs> <laughs> this whole time, <laughs> this whole time, you're a Gunner fan, and I didn't know. <laughs> Gutter's a fucking cop now. Right. I didn't know that. Gutter is a police officer as of like two days ago. How terrifying is that? In North Carolina. <laughs> in, North, in Iredell County. If you're going to Iredell County and you're not white, don't go. Is he, isn't he a sheriff? He's a sheriff, right? He was a Marine. No, I'm saying but he's a sheriff. Yeah, he's, he's, yeah, he's a sheriff. FWE. Yeah. That's yep. fucking terrifying. You yep. go to his title. You go to his the Wikipedia former, page. The former FWE United States champion is a now sheriff. a sheriff. Yeah. Yeah. So which which creates a long line of what was it from Kane to Mayor? From yeah. Like wrestling. Jesse Ventura. Have you ever thought yeah. about a political career when you're done? Yeah. Let's. We're we're here for you. Listen. No. Because <laughs> I don't like people. Yeah. And they don't make enough money. I don't think they like people either. <laughs> yeah, especially poor people. <laughs> exactly. Maybe I should be a politician. Yeah. Like either. <laughs> you certainly don't have to be near the rest of us. <laughs> they give you your own little house, your own little city. <laughs> you know what? And SoFly Manny Lowe is going to be my running mate. How about that? Awesome, yeah. Love SoFly. Hey, you know, I, I know he, he has a presence. I know he has, you know, he, he's had experience gathering voters, getting constituents, yeah. if you will. So, hell yeah. So fly Manny Lowe as my running mate. Is, is Nick, Nick D, D going to be upset? Yeah. Who? Nick, Nick D. D would be your campaign manager, I'm assuming? No. As much okay. as I like Nick D, no. He tried to embarrass me once. I was trying to talk to Zuka King, and he took my card and, and threw it at my face. I don't appreciate that. He's also tried to embarrass me too, but it's all yeah. documented. I don't Just think he put on clothes and people take pictures of him don't mean anything. <laughs> Nick, Nick D. You know what the D stands for? No. Yo, Go ahead. And smells good. Like, no <laughs> homo. He, he's a really great smelling man. Yeah. But that's not the point. Uh, this is like so far off the beaten path that it's like, Fucking the the lost city oh. of uh, El Dorado, like that's how. But so my dad, he doesn't listen to this, thank God. Um, but uh, he had low T, and I don't know if you guys know, but there's this thing called Androgel, that like you have to like put on your armpits to to make it like your T grow back. But that smell is so distinct that like I feel like I have this superpower because I'll, I'll smell it in the wild. I'm like that dude has low testosterone. Like that's my secret. <laughs> everybody, everybody walks up to yeah. a grown man and said, "I smell the low tea on you." <laughs> like, hey, come come here. It's okay. Just walk it, up to his wife. I'm sorry, ma'am. I'm sorry. You're, you're going to get through this. Yeah, okay. no, I'm going to fight you. It's low tea. Yeah, I'm not going to fight you because I win. But I understand. Yeah. Uh, Whenever you're ready to go lift weights or cut wood, go fishing, let me know. Yeah. Get you integrated back into normal life. Uh, oh, man. Uh, I have a new nickname for you. Okay. You're the, so we've got like the king of strong style. I'm going to say that you are the, the king of excuse me style. That that sounds about right. Style. Yeah. yeah I, I, style. Didn't, I didn't invent excuse me style. But I've innovated it, you know, Shinsuke Nakamura, if you will. Who who uh, invented "Excuse Me" style? Um, you can Google this. Um, his name is Chico Bean, um, from the '85 South Show. Okay. And um, brother Chico, brother Chico, brother uh, Chico. So <clears throat> he did a live show. They do live shows. They're comedians, and they uh -huh. have them. well. But um, they were doing a live show, and he wanted to talk to somebody in the crowd. But they were in the middle of the audience. So he was going through saying, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. I'm like, oh, 
that's cool. And I did the one thing that I've learned in wrestling, and that's to steal. <laughs> so I I stole it. Um, I used it when I seen that it was hella over. I actually sent him a message with the video in it. Um, he kind of Hollywood me and gave me a thumbs up, and I was like, "Hey, sue me now!" <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's the fucking worst, right? Like you send somebody something and they just give you like the obligatory like art on Instagram, right? right. Like, uh, just don't respond. Like you couldn't even hold it and give me a different reaction. Yeah. Know? Just a quick, eh, eh, that's it. All right. Cool. I'm trying to say that you made an impact on my life. All you did was double tap it, and keep scrolling. Right. Thanks for thanks for seeing me at all. That's yeah. what I said. This thing. Thanks for seeing me. I don't care. I don't. How you see I, don't me. I like no grudges. I don't feel that way. Uh, so, and I've had I've sent my matches to a couple of people, and mm-hmm. nobody responds except for Dustin Rhodes. Really, Dustin Rhodes gave me like a response. I was like, hell yeah. He's actually a cool guy. Like he real oh, yeah, yeah. he real down to earth. I, I believe he partakes in the 422. I d I don't know. Yeah. I ain't got no proof of it, but you know you can kind of see somebody and be like, you gang? <laughs> yeah, you gang. Yeah. You uh, gang. This is a great segue. We were talking about this earlier. Yeah, do you have quite like a you have like a, a top list of of professional wrestlers? It, I'll let you dictate this as much as you want to to like protect those involved. But I, I who are like some of the the top people that you've ever like smoked with? I'm not gonna say smoke. I'm gonna say had a good time. With. Okay, yeah, had a good time. I've had great times with people and and not partaking because I am safe and sober on prom night. Yep, that's true. He says it, but. I think number one would have to be Godfather. Okay. It was a great time. It's, I, I live in the city, you know, condo, loud cars. I'm sorry. Unicorn. Um, <laughs> see what I'm saying? It, it works. It works. And then we just keep the ball rolling. Um, Godfather would have to be um, number one for me. Um, it was during a convention. Um, we had like a Q and A um, that was scheduled, and he was just like, "I ain't doing that shit." So we went to the bar of the <laughs> hotel, and we just started drinking. It was him, the Godwins, um, Tom Pritchard, um, me, a couple of other workers. I want to say um, like Sam Owens from um, from Impact. He was there. Um, and it was some other people. Then it was a couple of fans, and we just like took over the bar of the hotel, and it was it was incredible, man. Um, we sent a video to the Undertaker, <laughs> <laughs> like, like he called the Undertaker a bitch, and I'm like, yo, this is this is the greatest day of my life. <laughs> like, I was like, did you just send a video to me, Mark Calloway? He said, fuck Mark Calloway. Whoa. <laughs> And then 10 minutes later, the Undertaker <laughs> sent him a video back holding a glass of whiskey. And he was like, hey, fuck you too, brother. Like, oh, <laughs> they just like me for real. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, that's incredible. I, I've told the story so many times, so I won't tell you. I was afraid of the Undertaker as a kid. So to like, think that somebody could like say, fuck you, the Undertaker. I would be like, you know, bitch. Yeah, all of a sudden the lights would go out. He's <laughs> just fucking standing behind you. Say it to my face. <laughs> Undertaker was wrestling's Batman. Yeah. He like, was. That shit was intense. Yeah. Why is he walking so slow? I would what? like to know in kayfabe, how do, how do you describe having Rachel tattooed on your neck as a dead man? Like... <laughs> It was Rachel, then it was Sarah, then it was yeah. Tom, and he was just like flowers. <laughs> all flowers. <laughs> like you 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 a bad man. And you yeah. committed. You when you're committed. getting Sarah tattooed on your neck, what letter do you think that you start to regret it? <laughs> you gotta I think a, you're, you're safe at A based upon <laughs> Rachel. You're safe at A. 
Yeah. So any A, you're probably like, okay, S A R, and probably mm-hmm. shouldn't have done that. But the A at the end, yeah, I might can make. I seem to have a thing for A, so I can make this work. Yeah. I I, I can flip this some type of way. <laughs> Maybe the next one's Ashley or, or some Amanda. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's hurt. And it's right in the throat too. Like uh, that that's already a red flag. Like say her name, uh, I'm slitting my throat. Like, what are we talking yeah. about here? Yeah. It's yeah. so strange. Yeah. Imagine seeing the Undertaker on Tinder. Just like scrolling through it all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> what? I love seeing long walks down the entrance ramp, <laughs> right? Like yo, <laughs> that's that's a fun game. Who, the dead man, who, not the one which, of my which '90s wrestler is just like fucking killing it on Tinder? I don't know about killing it. No, it's got to be killing it. Like doing uh, very man. well. We'll be doing well. Macho we'll, man. Yeah, it's got to be now though. Like '90s, yeah. looking like they did in the '90s now. Macho Man. He's dead, though. No, it can... It, that's okay. dead, a lot, sadly, a lot a lot are. Damn. Because mine was going to be Eddie. Oh, Eddie would slay. Oh, I think Eddie would oh. fucking slay on... on oh, Eddie. Eddie is pulling. <laughs> <laughs> For <laughs> sure. <laughs> oh, walking red flag? What? I lie, I cheat, I steal. He uh, is pulling future numbers. Yeah. <laughs> like what are yeah. we talking about here? Eddie Guerrero? Like future would have learned from his him. Bitches is going stupid over Eddie. <clears throat> future Damn. Would, future would love. Future would learn from Eddie Guerrero. He would he like. Would. Like what was it? Uh, Young Dolph. Uh, who was it? Frank. Who was it that put him? I can't remember the song right now. Shit. I'm. No, you know what I'm talking about. I know what you're talking about. Um, Ric Flair will pull on Tinder. Ric Flair will oh, yeah. pull. Val Rick Venus will pull. I was thinking that, but he's like a weird like conspiracy nut now. But it's yeah. not now. It's, it's, just, it's just for Tinder. Oh, okay. it's just, you don't get to know that on yeah. Tinder. You don't get to know that. You don't yeah, get to know that. Weird out, though. Like, if you're holding a fish. <laughs> yeah. Holding a fish, it's probably a good indicator. Well, yeah. I mean, I imagine his would be like the right. It's just a picture. <laughs> You know, some behind the scenes shots of his life before yeah. WWE. Yeah. Oh my goodness. I Venus. Hello. I bet Viscera. <laughs> Mabel. He probably I feel, like, I feel like Al Snow would do really well on farmers, uh farmers only. <laughs> <laughs> I was just about to say Viscera would he would he would pick up on like gothy sites. Yeah, <laughs> like gothy sites, most definitely. Oh, is there like a a dating app for only goth people? I'm sure there is. Huh? I'm gonna Google they it. Less. They less. They, should, they should make a dating app for wrestlers. No, they shouldn't. Jesus Christ, no, they shouldn't. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> wrestlers are one of the most well trusted people. It's called it's called alt uh, alt scene a l t scene. Oh, A-L-T. you already looked it up. Yeah. Oh, you just like members since 2002. Right, I was like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I recently I deleted it off my phone. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're talking, yeah, yeah. To, you're talking to Bad Boy 69. <laughs> Meet with the Heat 69. <laughs> the weirdest uh, thing yeah. that I think has happened since we started this is that Gene Snitsky follows us on on Instagram. Wow, right? That's dope. It is dope, but he's like super like Trumpy. So it's like, yeah, the, it's it's a I, mixed bag, right? Yeah, that's what wrestling is. It's a mixed bag. Like everybody that you ever looked up to is probably a piece of shit. I can't Man. wait until I, we are able to follow people who have this reaction, just because we're bored one day. Just, oh right. my god, <laughs> yeah. I, Brian, Brian Kendrick is such a nice person. Yeah, he, but he said some weird shit. He 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 went he went off for a and and stood and stood on it too. Yeah. Like man. Yeah. He did. But he's such a nice person. Like he was really <laughs> cool. I don't know that I'm surprised by people being nice. I think it's yeah. more like I'm surprised you don't talk about this thing as much as I thought you would. Right? Yeah. You know what I mean? I think it's more of that. Like I'm like, yeah, you can be nice and have like opinions that don't match mine, but it's like 
sometimes when I hear some opinions that don't match mine, I'm like, oh my god, it's all this person's going to talk about. Yeah, but like, it just I, doesn't end up happening. I kind of want to like get people that I'm I'm questionable about how they how they react to certain things and get them high. Yeah, and yeah. sit in the room and you know just be shooting the shit and be like, so how, how do you feel about black people? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Emancipation Proclamation, am I right? Like, <laughs> well, Abraham Lincoln's a well guy. Oh, he yo, like, hey, of... did you know he <laughs> was a mulatto? You know, say something like that just to yeah. just to gauge. I like the word mulatto, by the way. That that is that is a funny word, but it's cancelable. So as, some, as someone it. you'll never as say as someone who is who has been called that their whole life, like it is a very classy way. Of saying mixed, it like it sounds like, like there's a there's, you know, a cheese crackers and then there's a charcuterie plate. Ah, okay. <laughs> They're both kind of the same thing. Oh, it's like a fancy way to say it. Yes. So okay. like like mulatto is it's like I, but also I that I got lost on that like because Big Lotto had to change her name and I didn't really quite understand that. Are we allowed to talk about it or? Yeah, I've seen Big Lotto live. I, not a great live performance. We oh, we're not we're not worried about the music at that point. We okay. shake your ass. <laughs> what are we talking? You saw Big Lotto. It you saw Big Lotto in person, and you were like, "Oh, dang, hey, he hey. can't rap her music that good." Hey. I don't give a fuck. Hey, I'm Big tra- Lotto is a safe space yeah. for men to for men to yeah. congregate and speak about our thoughts. It's not. Yeah. Anything you talking about, sir? Big Lotto Anonymous. <laughs> never never seen Big Lotto do that ever. I've only ever seen her be very thought provoking and she, she help any the discussion between us gentlemen. Yeah. Man. Well, I have bad vision and we are like the we're at the very top of the of the spectrum center. So <laughs> All I, I would hear was the music. <laughs> Listen, between the first and fifth row for me. Yeah. You can't say you can't be telling everybody about what we do with Big Lotto. Shut <laughs> up. So, as a proud Shut member up. of BLA, Shut Big Lotto up. Anonymous, um, she that is a swell young lady. Thank you, you know, good Christian woman. Every yes. Sunday she's at church. E- every Sunday. Cause she makes that's really what I was surprised by. Is how are you? How are you doing this concert? I thought you'd be in church, right? Well, so and that's really what made me take out my phone. Like, yo, can you guys? Can you believe yeah. this? Like, she's here. Right. What they and then don't I don't tell you is that there's scripture, like on the bottom of cookout cups, on the back of her pants. There's a, a Bible verse, and that's what she's trying. Wait, she's trying wait to a minute. Wait, is that true? Yeah, and I'm merely yeah. trying to read. Yeah. I, I'm like, trying to read like, this Bible study at this point. To all of that, like, oh, but there's... specifically the first part, is that true? The cookout, yeah, there's a Bible verse, it's like John something on every cup. Oh, I'm sorry, okay. I I usually am the one to do this. This is a wrestling podcast, so <laughs> I'm gonna meander back into wrestling by allowing him to maybe cut this out if he wants to or not. But I'm not here we go. Out. What everybody's gonna know that you have a loud neighbor <laughs> that fucking drives his motorcycle by your house. <laughs> yeah. what, uh, what is your fondest memory of a cheeseburger? Yeah. Hang on, let me Brian Gumble that. <laughs> yeah, a cheeseburger. Hmm. That. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. there's this restaurant at Myrtle mm-hmm. Beach. Um, I do not remember the name of it, but they had like this eating contest, and I was a fat kid. I like. I, I was fat kid. Yeah. Um. So I I I love fucking eating challenges because I can eat. That's yeah. one thing I could do. I can eat. So they I got it. It was legit. We're talking in the nineties, and this shit was forty dollars by itself. So uh. of course, <laughs> we were freaking out like, yeah. holy shit, this is a lot of money for one burger, and. It was legit. This, hold on, let me let me get proportion. This fucking big, with a mountain of French fries on top of it, and they were like cheese fries. 
So you had no choice but to yeah. eat the fries to get to the burger. Yeah. What year would you say that was? It, it was like late 90s. Okay. Late 90s. It, I would say between 97, 99. Okay. But man. Oh. That's got to be so, like you, $40 back then could have bought you like the world. Do you know how much $40 is in 1997? $40 is $76.52. I ate you almost ate a hundred dollar burger. burger. <laughs> <laughs> you almost ate a hundred dollar burger. <laughs> almost a hundred dollars. Was it worth it? Hell yeah, man. I got to take a picture. Like my picture was at this restaurant for the longest. Yeah. Um, I went back recently. I think they um closed it. Yeah. Like right after, like during COVID, it got closed. But yeah. man, hell yeah, it was worth it. I had gas like hell. But I did it, man. Yeah. And that's what that's when I knew. Segue, but not a segue. That's when I knew that I can do whatever I wanted if I really wanted to. Yeah. If I could eat a fucking hundred dollar burger and get it for free, I I can do whatever. And that's when I started doing commentary. <laughs> <laughs> when I started doing commentary. Uh, I'm gonna I got I'm so motivated right now. Yeah, I feel like I can do that. I feel like I'm a wall. Yeah. That, that's what I do. Football bro. coach. That's literally that's literally why I get paid to talk. I motivate people. Yeah. You should be a football coach. I'm ready that's, to run through a wall for that's you. Why, that's why me and Tim, we <laughs> tuck this part in. Are the elevation heavyweight champ. You see that? <laughs> heavyweight. Heavyweight champion. Matter they of don't fact, give hundred dollar uh, burgers to lightweights. <laughs> <laughs> they don't. Heavyweights only. Would you see what I'm saying? Hold on. What's what's the thing? This this is your this is your thing for. This is it. This right here. This what this is all about. You know you don't see people getting into wrestling talking about. Oh, I just I just want to see people smile. No, we want to win the belts. Yes. Yeah. What's your favorite hey, like? Of all like WWE, WCW, ECW, what's your favorite like belt of all time? I like Big Gold. Yeah. Um because cool. I always associate that with my childhood. Like that's that's Dusty right there. I see that even though Dusty never won it technically, yeah. I associate that belt with Dusty. Um the Wing Eagle, because Bret Hart. Of course. Like fuck what anybody say. Bret Hart is is the goat? It, he the goat for he the goat for wrestling, and he the goat for calling Bill Goldberg Bill Goldberg. <laughs> like, oh, uh, Goldberg doesn't like when you say Bill Goldberg. <laughs> <laughs> like he doubled down on it. I'm like, hell yeah! I wish to achieve this level of pettiness. Who would you be petty towards if you could be like, uh, like you get to pick one person to be Bret Hart Goldberg level petty with? Benny, <laughs> Benny, the 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 guy who manages Zenith. Yeah, Benny. you mean Benjamin? <laughs> hey, ben you Gray. remember when you remember when Brad Attitude cut his ponytail off? That was the best thing ever. Keep that in. Ma- mean ben- that, make that a clip. It's Ben <laughs> Grayson that you're talking. What what is? What yeah, is- let's talk about the water bottle thing while we're here. For people that don't know, what what is this what is this about? Where where did it start? Why why did it come to this? Because it started because he's a terrible ref. Okay. That's where it started. And I, I don't care on social media I, as much I don't care in real life. Um, so I just told him one day, "Hey, you're a terrible ref." Boo! Terrible. Uh, then he started managing. And he managed some people that I, I thought were pretty cool. But then they turned out to be dicks, too. So then every time I see them online, boo. I see them in person, boo. And then Caitlin Marie came, and I was like, boo. Hey, Caitlin. Hey, boo. <laughs> He's fat. <laughs> Bitty. We 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 just beat J.R. Miller. 
this weekend. For what? For <clears throat> put it back on. I shouldn't have never took it off. You know how many people has tried to get their hands on this belt? Like six or seven? Like four former guests of Live Lab Larry at Bojack. Yeah. He took an L. Lucky Ali, he took an L. Lucky Calvin Tankman from MLW, he took an L. D D Kevin Dangerous Turner took an L. Yeah. The best <laughs> of the best, sir, with honors. Let's That's talk about good. Let's talk about Tim. Let's let's talk. Please let's talk about Tim. Tim is fucking off. I hate to talk about Tim. I'm wearing his shirt right now. Hell yeah, big up. You see it. Yeah. Uh, Tim's awesome. Super excited for him getting a cool opportunity to move to Ohio. How much money would it would it take for you to move to Ohio? Not doing it. No about about a money. Not doing it. I, I I will move adjacent. I you know, Illinois, yeah. you know, something like that, but Chicago. Ohio? Ohio, it's cold. Yeah. That's number one. Um, there are no bitches. That's no number bitches. two. Yeah, it's well known. No bitches in Ohio. Not no even bitches. Cincinnati. <laughs> like, oh my the god. The only thing that got John Moxley. They don't even got him anymore. That's the best thing that came out of Ohio. Yeah. Ohio State. I hate Ohio State. Oh I O. I don't know how they're doing this year. Me um, neither. Uh, yeah. honestly. I like Ohio State because they beat Duke one time, and I was like, okay. hell yeah, I love Ohio State now. <laughs> Is it okay if I call you Birdie? Why would you call me Birdie? Not you, Roberto. Oh, okay. Birdie! No, that's Big Bob. Why? Why? Big Bob. What am I missing? Roberto, Bert, Birdie, Berto. Roberto's a lot to say. I'm just trying to make things quicker, honestly. Big Bob. That's a Show one. him respect. My Big grandfather, Bob. we called him Big Bob. Is that there the whitest go. thing you've ever heard? Big Bob. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do, we'll do Big Bob. It was Big, Big Bob. Bob. It was my step grandmother. So it was just Big Bob and Shirley. Like <laughs> <laughs> Big Bob. I had an uncle. His name was Big House. Oh, wow. Yeah. And his real name was Steven. So they called his son Little Steve, but him Big House. What? Is he like as big as a house? I mean, he's my size, and I'm not a small guy. Yeah. You heard it here first. A. Aloysius Skipper. Aloysius Skipper Jenkins the third. You got to say it all just like a tribe called Quest is as big as a house. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. Excuse me while I whip this up. <laughs> Roberto, how much money would it take for you to move to Ohio? Well, uh, probably quite a bit. Yeah. Uh, not necessarily caring about uh, bitches. bitches at all. Yeah. <laughs> or <laughs> I do care that it's cold and yeah. I do care that there ain't shit to do, most they likely. Put fucking spaghetti on their chili. It, feel, it feels honestly like a right. downgrade from Virginia. I it does. It is. Oh, there are parties I mean, there's a are great. there's a casino right down the street and a dispensary oh, yeah. right over here, and all of yeah. this legal. Like, I'm not moving anywhere. <laughs> so probably probably enough money to start those things and have enough yeah. influence to get that in whatever town I move. So billions, trillions, trillions. Even. trillions. You know what? Yeah. I, I see it. I see it. Man, Ohio. You know what? The only the if there is three great things in Ohio. Three. Yeah. There is stuff. Damn, he is from Ohio, ain't he? That's not what I'm talking about. <laughs> Damn, he didn't even make a list. Because he, I can see him outside of Ohio. Pick that up with him. Right? I can see him outside of Ohio. <laughs> but Colossal Con, okay. I can't get that out of Ohio. Colossal Con is one of the biggest Comic Cons um, I go to every year. It's like in the top 10 or top five biggest ones. I don't know. Yeah. I don't care. I just know it's huge, and I'm a nerd. Yeah. Um, so much so that have Have you heard of the ribbon game? No. Okay, let's put a pin in that. So we got Colossal God, right? You got Mega Championship Wrestling. Oh yeah. 
um, slash Ohio Valley Wrestling or OVW. Um, and is that technically Kentucky, though, is it? I think it's technically Kentucky. Tomato potato. Okay. You yeah, got and you got the Infinite Man Tim. That's the only yeah. reason I would go to Ohio. Is those three things? Yeah. Anything else? I'm not doing it. Now, the ribbon game. So check it. When you go to when you go to Comic Cons, you get badges, right? Yeah. Let you know that you 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 people. So some of the guests or vendors will pass out badges. I mean not badges, they'll pass out um ribbons. So, you know, I got I got a he him and a and a they them. Um I got boink about a hentai granny. <laughs> you know, I got I got a you know what he just said. He said boink, boink by the boink hentai boink. granny. Yeah, man. And you're sitting there with the straight face. Yeah, man, she had a stick. You you know the the meme, the horny meme, and you get boink. Yeah, she was boinking people. Do you know that meme, Roberto? No. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm don't just make, surprised he talked about it. Yeah, See, that's, <laughs> that's the problem with people. They can't they can't think outside of their little bubble. Just because you never got boinked by the hentai granny, don't make it weird for me. Well, I don't think it's weird. I just wish no, that more not, about it. It's Shoot. not weird. It's uh, I'm jealous. It's a, uh, it's an alarming visual. <laughs> yeah, can you paint us a picture of what the head tie granny looks like? Or okay, not. it's also <laughs> an option. Think, think of um, Golden Girls, right? Yeah. Which one? Either one. <laughs> no, there's four. <laughs> there's yeah. <those> specific <laughs> ones that I don't want to think about. That like it's B. Arthur. It's the big one. Thank you. Yeah, there's. I don't. Not her. It, okay. It's I'll B. take. Any other the ones. older looking one. It's the oldest one. Yeah, it's Sophia. pretty much okay. her. So it's her in in a in a hover round. Okay. And of course, at at anime conventions and comic cons and stuff, it's women in cosplay, and half their ass is completely out, and it's people like just fixated on the ass, and the hentai granny come by and boink them. Oh, <laughs> yeah. that's. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You know, I also Maybe got. I wouldn't mind a good boy. You see what I'm saying? Like y'all, y'all trying to make y'all trying to make me look weird. You know, I don't know who's the y'all. I, I, I'm I'm team, I'm team Boykin. Yeah, I'm team right, Boykin so. too. You see that? The cream of the crop. Yeah. And then I'm I'm from North Carolina, so you got to get a Ric Flair. Ooh. Can we talk yeah. about Ric Flair and like? Like Ric Flair is such this iconic dude, but he like also might be like the world's biggest piece of shit. And like how we can balance that. Like there's so much love. He's such a pop culture icon, but then he like get up on a plane and things get start to get weird. Like how do how do you guys cope with Ric Flair? Edgar Man. Allan Poe bars. <laughs> I'm I'm not on a private plane with him, that's for damn sure. Yeah. Oh no. that, no. that, Hey, <laughs> I, I love you, Uncle Rick. I I will even call him Uncle Rick. But I'm not getting on a private jet. No, <laughs> we gotta go commercial, Daddy. We can't, <laughs> we can't do that. I just there's there's too many people in the world for me to just sit here and fool myself into thinking that every single person is like great, just a great person, great human yeah. being. Like the Rock is a great performer and he's equally a great human and a great person and he's never done anything where I'm sure the rock has done some shit. Yeah. Of course. And he only had seven. never know what it is. I'm almost entirely sure. And I don't know we might get sued. I'm really sorry if you do because they're they're the types that really get upset. Once again I think you're like, underestimating your audience. Okay. But if you have Which, one of these people the rock is not watching this. I no not the rock. <laughs> but uh, I am under the genuine belief. Like it's my only like tin hat whatever conspiracy theory. Like Tom Cruise has killed someone. Oh, for sure. Tom Cruise like, has definitely killed somebody. Like, like m not some like some bodies. Yeah, Tom like Cruise multiple. has a cave. He's done it more than once, yeah. and I think like he feeds like not feeds like a like he feeds like he kills. Yeah, like, they just, he kills and they hide. Yeah, and like that's that's like I hundred percent agree with you. 
Yeah. Tom Cruise being the but top, like Top Gun's the highest grossing fucking movie. Like, what do you want to do? <laughs> <laughs> what, if, what, do you want to tell? What, what can you do from there? <laughs> what if, what if, like, uh, you like with Hollywood, if you have like the top one grossing movie, you just like get a free kill, like, <laughs> <you just> be, like <laughs> dude, that's why The Rock is so powerful. Yeah, like I believe that anybody like The Rock, if like people, rich people do weird shit. The Rock like, is at least hit somebody with his car while drinking and driving. Jeremiah. Yeah, yeah. John Bones Jones did that, and he's like, <laughs> he's like a pretty big deal in this place. Yeah, he did not get away with that. Uh, yo, yeah. okay, I got a question. Okay, yeah, you killed somebody. What? <laughs> what's the weirdest thing that you've had to explain about wrestling? Oh, uh, oh, I have one. So, did you have, did you want to go first? I was going to give an example. Okay, go first. Yeah. One time I had to explain who Eugene was. Oh, no. <laughs> you, was it at the FWE show? It was it was before the FWE show because it was like, you know, I, that that was the show that one of those <laughs> FWE shows was like, I'm trying to convince my mom to come out. Yeah. Um, wrestling isn't like a, a it's a family thing, but it isn't a family thing. Wrestling was legit me and my grandmother type of thing type yeah. of thing but my mom is like whatever i'm like yo come out i'm gonna I'm be doing commentary um they're gonna give me a live mic for a little bit like it's gonna be cool come out and i showed her the flight and she's like oh who is this guy and i said oh that's eugene she said oh okay what's his deal and it's like mm. <laughs> well <laughs> It's better if I show you. <laughs> the year was two thousand and four. <laughs> Jeez! It was to tell so you, funny. to tell you who Eugene is, we're gonna have to talk about Vince McMahon. So we're gonna have to go back to the territories. So I have to tell you what NWA is. <laughs> right. You just like go all the way back to the beginning. He's like, all right. And so Vince McMahon buys this. The next thing you know, we have Eugene, who is a. I don't know the correct term. No, nope. so I'm not even gonna try to. <laughs> If you don't know who you is, that. Google it. <laughs> unique. Yeah. He is a very he is unique. unique. He I think is, it's so unique. it's so shitty that he is like <laughs> that he has to still do that character. Are you talking about when I asked you, by the way, when you when you said I had to explain you <laughs> That, I remember I did have to explain it to you before because you were like, <laughs> I'm like, oh dear. I forgot. Like I genuinely forgot. There's so much desensitized yeah. wrestling. That I just literally forget. I think my brain is just like, no, can't go yeah. back there. So like you don't even need this anymore. Yeah. I wore a uh I have like when Raw came through like, a couple years ago, I got a Raleigh 316 shirt. Mm-hmm. And like all wrestling that shirts was. that I regret buying, I just cut off the sleeves like i'll wear up to the gym i was wearing it and the guy at the front counter he's like oh what is your shirt and like you could tell that he like thought it was a christian thing he's like oh a fellow brother in christ and i was like there's this guy named stone cold steve austin (laughs) 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 he was in king of the ring and he was (laughs) and he said austin 316 says i just kicked your ass (laughs) Wicked good pair. Yeah, I was like, can I go work out now? Like, <laughs> I want to get the shirt sweaty. Uh, I want to hurt myself to feel better. Yeah, that's how working out is, man. You're hurting yourself to feel better. Yeah, that's deep. It's stupid. I have I have to do physical therapy. I had surgery recently, and I they kicked my ass literally. Like they made me lay on my stomach and bit my knee until my foot yeah. touched. It kicked my ass. This shit hurts. Stupid. But yeah, what's one mobility. thing? What's one thing that you've had to explain about wrestling? Yeah, Berto. One thing that I've had to explain about wrestling. I mean, like something that like I don't already explain when we, like you mean like to my like family and friends. Like an and outsider, stuff? yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> the. Uh, well, one that's really specific is that there was one friend I had who I guess he read some shit about 90s wrestling and they used to, uh, I guess they call it blading. 
Yeah. So like mm-hmm. pre-scratch, so you'd hit that, and it, and I had to like explain to him that Jackson Drake is like a fucking nineteen-year-old or twenty-year-old human, and he does not do that. It's that his nose is consistently broken all the time, and like that's why he's bleeding. <laughs> yeah. And like he didn't believe me. He's just like, yeah, yeah no, he's not. He's he's bleeding, man. And I'm like, nah. <laughs> like, he's like, okay, man. Like just, I just don't think this will be the place he did that. But okay. Yeah. The and then. Thing. uh like <laughs> uh outside of that i think the the ropes is usually something that that uh people don't really understand they don't think they're cables they genuinely think they're like the same things that you would go and use for bungee cords right they, think, they, they really think that they're like bouncing yeah. and, and stuff they're not no. and, and explain to my like so my grandma who is about 78 she, she, she no she loves you she loves you she loves. She's not a fan of my language. Okay. Uh, okay. So on this podcast, so you can do with that what you want. But uh, I have to explain to her like the ring is not a trampoline. Like there's not a because she's used to seeing people on the trampoline like do yeah. our little moves when we were younger. Uh, like rings not a trampoline. The ropes are not bungee cords. Um, and the, under the turnbuckle is how the 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 metal cables are connected. Like that's all that shielding, and like just. I guess the ring, because I'm more yeah. like people are going to think what they think. And I'm not going to sit there and try to argue with people about like, hey, man, you know, the, the it's it's about this much padding. Like, yeah, say whatever you want. But like that, that fucking power bomb, that shit hurts. Like, yeah. I promise you, like, if you don't believe me, just go take a judo class. Like, let yeah. them just do any judo throw and try to like it shit hurts, man. Yeah. Like, And they teach you how to fall. And that shit still rocks you a little. So, yeah. Like Alex, that shit is usually how it is, but more so just like the ring because most yeah. people they think what they think. My my mom was talking. My mom doesn't get wrestling at all. Just no. not at all. Yeah, it's fine. Like, uh, but she was she was like we were flipping through the channels the other day and there was wrestling on. She's like, I just do not see what you like about this. <laughs> my <I'm just> like, <laughs> I was like, okay. My dad's like that, but like straight up, he'll tell you he he showed up to an FWE show and sat yeah. right there, almost got involved in the action. Like Nacho was near him, yeah, like doing some crazy stuff. So, I mean, he he gets it. He just doesn't like. He doesn't like the tell. Like he doesn't like WWE. Yeah, mm. like he he's like this is like he likes AEW because he's like these guys are fucking crazy. Like he's like, <laughs> like we like we were watching the match. You're like standing. Like Sammy Guevara's heyday. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Like so, I mean that it's more just talking to people about like what they like. People genuinely think people go out there and remember yeah. like a hundred and seventy-five different coordinated moves and hey, you know, <laughs> idiot. like you're a genuine fucking idiot. Like okay, but some people do, and yeah, that's the crazy part. Some people actually do. Remember all that. I don't see how they, man. Speedball Mike really? Bailey does. Yeah. Really? He plans out every like part of his match. How? Like, like how does like how do you trust your partner to remember all that? Because you're like he wrestles all around. Yeah. Right? Yeah. He, was... he makes that shit up that day. Yeah. It's crazy. Like it's, he he wrestled last night at DPW. Like some of the shit that they do is just like, how are you thinking of this? Like, so I a, a little behind the curtain ordeal. Okay. Right? Um, I was talking to one. I was talking to a wrestler. I'm not gonna say who it was. I'm not gonna say what match it was. Okay. Um, but it was definitely the best wrestling match I've seen all year in person. And Roberto, you were there, and I, I believe you were there too. Um, but the things that I've I seen these gentlemen do inside of a cage, it was incredible. Yeah. And for one of the competitors to tell me, oh, we only planned three moves out of that whole match. That's so crazy. Is incredible. Yeah. So, yeah, that that's just as equally impressive. Oh, yeah, like, for sure. Wait, you just remember all 758 different things that you were going to do 
and performed it flawlessly, that's crazy. Wait, y'all did 738 moves and only three of them you knew you were going to do? That's yeah. insane. Yeah. I think, yeah, that was a fucking crazy match. I think, yeah, most people should know what match that Yeah, was. by now, you, if you haven't seen it, you can go yeah. to uh, FSPW listen. Classic on YouTube and uh, listen to Roberto and is it is it Thailand? Thailand. Okay. Because I Spelled surprisingly similar, but no, no, no. Okay. Man. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Thailand, too, man. Thailand is dope. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that dude is brilliant. Thailand is dope. Like, DCW just got upgraded as, like, I, I listened to him and you. That was great. That was great. That was perfect. Speaking of, of of that DCW show, and then speaking of Tim, that Tim versus uh, Alexander Moss match, yeah, they fucking get it. Like they know how to tell a story. That match was incredible. Like to the point where you didn't know if Tim was actually hurt or not. Like, like, and then he comes. Like it's just, I don't, there's not a lot of matches that get better than that, in my opinion. Um, fun fact: Tim was actually hurt. Really. Tim was actually injured um, at the very beginning of that match. And what you seen was it, what you seen was them telling him, you don't have to finish. And him saying, no, I'm going to finish. I'm going to give these people what they paid for. Yeah. And that right there speaks bounds to who Tim is. Yeah. Such a warrior, man. Such a warrior. Like, people don't understand. Tim did a show Friday night. After the show, we drove from we drove from Durham to Winston-Salem. Met up with two other wrestlers. Drove to Illinois. We didn't stop. Yeah. Like, we didn't, we didn't, we didn't get a hotel room or anything. We drove to Illinois. We got there, we ate some food, we did another show. I mean, and all of these matches are high high caliber matches. Like these are very grueling matches. Like he had a match with J.R. Miller. So it wasn't a walk in the park. Yeah, for sure. On top of that, goes around to Illinois and has a banger of a match in Illinois. Main event, of course. Is that Destination but- Six? That was Destination Six. How cool was that venue? I've heard a lot of cool things, like in the church. Yes, it is in a old church, and they they bought the church and they renovated it and everything. And the ring is where the sanctuary is, and it's a unique six sided ring. Um, you remember those S's we used to draw in middle school? Yeah. Yep. So imagine that, but a ring. Fuck. Okay. <laughs> like two of the sides are longer than the four shorter sides. It's, cool. it's it's trippy, but it leads to some kind of innovative stuff that people can do. But yeah, man, we we did that. That was Saturday. And then Sunday, he's doing a training class. Like, insane. He does not stop. Yeah. He motivates me to be, to be better, which is almost impossible because, man... I'm pretty good. Yeah. Like, I'm, you know, hacksaw him dug in in the <laughs> invader him. If you will. Him Jong un. You know, <laughs> him the two man Taylor. Heavy neutron. Heavy neutron. Hell Slim man. him. I don't know. I couldn't think of any more. That's all I was <laughs> Him Jones, cult leader. Just <laughs> him Jones, balling. Yeah. <laughs> Hemi him Carter. Hemi Car- Carter. Yeah. That's not. That's so not terrible. Him Beam. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Hemi Johnson, four-time. Like probably five time NASCAR world champion. Eight. I think he was an eight time. Eight time. You like NASCAR? I'm from Martinsville, bro. I have to. 
What, what's NASCAR? I just know shit about NASCAR? it. NASCAR? These cars go fuck. Yeah. So. Oh, the, the car <laughs> racing. Yes, sir. Not, not really. I don't know. But I, I grew up watching it, but I'm not a huge fan of it. I just like racing. Like Dude, F1, I lived in Winston. F one's like that's that's what gets that's what gets blood cold. Dude, we lived in Alabama. You know Talladega. Mm-hmm. We would go to Talladega like mm-hmm. every year just to kind of like there would be like like trading card expos in the mall and everything. But I saw my my first pair of tits at Talladega as like a five year old. <laughs> that, sounds, that sounds like a, yeah, that would happen. That's all you need to know about that's NASCAR. also that's also on my list of like places you would absolutely never find me. Like the entire state. Can I recommend? That's probably smart. <laughs> Kentucky, Kentucky, Alabama, and yeah. uh, uh, parts of Mississippi. Yeah, oh, Mississippi. parts on some parts it's fine, but other yeah. parts can't do it. No, nope. that's Arkansas, just like, maybe, maybe Arkansas. Maybe Arkansas might be a little. Yeah, Arkansas is trash. I don't know. I... So I, I got I got some friends that live in Arkansas and um, Arkan Ar- 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 Arkansas. <laughs> yeah, they hate when I say Arkansas, Illinois with the S, you know, whatever. It's, it's, get mad if you want to. I don't care. <laughs> oh, man. That's what so, you really get canceled for? So, yeah, Arkansas. Yeah. I, I'm going to get, okay, social media clip. This is probably going to cancel me. Hot take. This is probably going to be the thing that is going to take Aloysius Skipper Jenkins the third out of this is where I, in my career it's called Arkansas. I agree. <laughs> oh. Look, he's he going to do the green screen, and when I say this, it's going to be Arkansas. <laughs> <laughs> or I would rather just have like a bunch of people with pitchforks, like yeah. the, the mob from uh, from the Water Boy. Like just all of them behind you, or the mob with the tiki torches. Yeah, yeah, oh, they're all ready. You don't want that mob. What's your favorite wrestler from the Attitude Era? From the and Attitude Era, do one for the culture and do one for yourself. Yeah, because I because re- if you're gonna be like me, then I realize a lot of my answers <laughs> have one thing in common. <laughs> 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 I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Anthony Agogo was like the only one that I picked. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah we, that last. <laughs> Anthony, wrong. he's British too. It's like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That really covered my base. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to him? Oh man, you know what? That storyline pissed me off so much. Because that's the guy that was beefing with Cody for a little bit, right? Yeah, that's when racism was solved. You don't remember? Man, oh, yeah. You don't remember? That me so much because they set it up perfect. They set it up perfect. He, he didn't even wrestle. And that's what made it so dope. He didn't even wrestle. He just got in the ring. Uh, he wins. Like, that was ingenious. Why are we not doing that? He should beat Cody like that. He's just yeah. coming to the ring. Cody does something stupid. He does a little... Bounce the, he does the Malacutter because we know it's the Malacutter. It ain't the Cody. Well, question, the I, have a, I have a question, and this uh, might be blasphemous because I have to ask him, and I haven't asked him. It's an awful lot like the Oz Cutter. No, no, it's no, not. It's different. Okay, it's different. Okay, it looks you know, similar. It it it's adobo. It's different. In fact, there's there's exactly. there's. There's quite a bit of stuff where it's like, like, Jay just is like a way more athletic version of shit that I like only ever seen him do. Yeah, <laughs> Jay Malik, like, yeah. He, like he, like he's got it with flair. Like I don't know Dude, how to last explain. night. Last night, so he wrestled at DPW. They did. He had a match against um, Ichiban. I don't know if you guys know who Ichiban is. And then he did a four way match with Jake Something, Tom Lawler, Speedball Mike Bailey. And then he had a fucking Carolina Warfare match with Lucky Ali after that. Three fucking matches in one night, fucking flying off ladders, flying through doors. Like, fucking dude is next level. He's also not even 20. Yeah, it's scary. No. Like, let's talk about that. He's not even 20. No. Dude can't even buy a beer. He's not, ni- he's not 19 yet. 
Is he? I, I is think he, he just turned yeah. 19. I think he just yeah. turned 18 because they were saying that he – that might have been last year, though. I can't remember, man. It all kind of – I was saying he, he's not 20 yet to be safe. Is he the yeah. 18? He's somewhere around there. But yeah, he's very he's young. old enough for like a contract, but he just now got around that time. If you right. saw what year he was born in, you would feel old. I, I oh, don't know. Yeah, no. Where was he born? Uh, I know Jackson Drake was born in 2003 because, like, oh, yeah, right. <laughs> oh, God. He's, he's around there somewhere. Uh, I think I'll, Manny I'll, Lowe was like 04. No. Yeah, I didn't know that. I knew Manny was 04. It's fucking like, Manny's... dude was one years old when Katrina hit. Like, think about that when, shit. Who? When Katrina hit New Orleans, he was a baby. No, who are we talking about? Oh, Manny Lowe. Manny. What? Yeah. 2004. Yeah. yeah. That was 14. I was also oh. motherfuckers at the Boys and Girls Club when he was in diapers. <laughs> Jeez. Part of that, like, part of that sentence just makes me want to, like, buy khaki shorts and, like, high white socks and shoes, like, white shoes, that, like, new balances, yeah. shit that nobody wants, and just call it a day. <laughs> Yo, like, look at it, dude. Like, honestly, I'm married now. Like, what am I? Who I have, like, yeah. what? Yo, that I'm always gonna look like this. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it's only downhill from here. Like, <laughs> it, it, this is it's a wrap. Dude, so two things. Number one, a camp counselor would be a great cosplay, and I think I'm going to do it. Number two, okay. I feel where you're coming from because I just bought some slides for the first time. Like not, like, not like Nike slides, not Adidas slides, just slides. Like house shoes. Yeah, but I wear them. Not house shoes. They're like... I'm brought on house shoes. I was 14 years old. What are you talking about? Show them like to me. Slides. Oh, so, yeah. <laughs> is that what you mean? Yeah, S sir. Sli that's what I'm saying. But I mean, they're not even Adidas. They're not any type of brand. I just bought I, slides, and I wear. See, I thought you was talking about the the like the house shoe, the clothes. Man, no. I don't. No, 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 no. I don't nah. even know where mine are anymore. I wear Crocs. I don't know if that surprises you at all. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> they're cool Yo, Crocs though. So, so comfortable. Funny thing about Crocs, it was uh, the guy who made Crocs or the, the person who made Crocs. Um, this movie was looking for a futuristic shoe, and they didn't want to just make one. They were like, "Why don't we like find a legit shoe that looks funky and just buy a license to put them in this movie?" And the movie was based like a hundred years in the future, and it came out in the nineties. And the yeah. shoes were Crocs. That's crazy. Like, and everybody had on Crocs. So how do you expect? How do you explain the big red boots? What's the story for those? Astro Boy. I love those. Yeah. Astro Boy. That was it. Like someone That's just it. like, oh, why yeah. wouldn't it be Mega Man? Like big blue boots, Mega Man. Damn. But Astro Boy came out first. And I think it was like a Japanese thing. It's always Japanese. <laughs> It's always Japanese. <laughs> Japanese people set the trend. Yeah. Um, they they black people get it and make it famous. And then they, they <laughs> I show up and I'm just like, hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> <It's too late. laughs> like, uh, yo, this is cool. These jeans got rips in them. $100. <laughs> <laughs> um, so what are your top five like cosplays that you've ever done? Um, in no particular order, um, I did a male poison ivy, poison Ivan, if you will. Um, I've done Bishop from the X Men. I've done Doctor Faciliad from Princess and the Frog. Um, I did Purple Guy from Five Nights at Freddy's, and um. I've been myself. I've been myself. I've been Aloysius Skipper Jenkins the third at, at Comic Cons. So that's top five. Which one do you think is the worst, Roberto? Of all the of all he just named. Yeah, of all of them he just named. 
I mean, I like Poison Ivan, so that's probably that's pretty good. That's number one for me. Poison yeah, that's, that's, that's Ivan. That sounds oh, like maybe. a Russian serial maybe, killer. Maybe, maybe the purple guy, because I just imagine Barney. <laughs> yeah. like, <laughs> it might, it might, be, it might have been fly. Yeah. Like, maybe look fly. Hey, I have a question. Where did you, where did you get your name? Man, we we going deep, huh? Yeah. <laughs> so. It is a combination of me being goofy as hell and a outcast song. I love outcast. Um, it is an outcast song called Call Before You Come. Call Before I Come. And Andre 3000 says, nice to meet you. My name is Dre, but you can call me Pookum. You can call me Pookie Aloysius Skipper, Andre 3000 for short. And I was like, huh. And I did what any great wrestler does, and I stole it. <laughs> and I, I kind of made it my own. And yeah. it's funny because I was using the name before I got into wrestling. I, I would use that bars. Yeah. Like, hey, what's your name? I wish to give James the 30. I would say the whole thing like Tribe Called Quest. That's not your name. That's not your name. What's his name? Oh, that's the homeboy Aloysius Skipper James the Third. You got to say the whole thing like a Tropical Quest. Yes, you have to say this. Yes, you have to say the whole thing. Yes, you have to say it every time. They'd be like, that's not your name. And then finally, by the end of the night, you know, we're all boozed up. I don't know what to say to the third. <laughs> What's up, bitch? That's. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> That's how I say it. And I'm not even drunk when we do commentary. I appreciate the third. It's it's a, it's, it's the longest name we've ever had on this podcast. Nice. I didn't even put it on the screen. Like nice. I was, I didn't even try. I was like, I'm not even gonna fucking try this. I was you like, we're doing, we're doing initials. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, that's that's the whole thing. Like I want to eventually get to like Hunter Hearst Helmsley Triple yeah. H. But we all know that still Hunter Hearst Helmsley. Yeah. I don't know, dude. Manny might not. 2004. You know what? He might not know that at all. Right. <laughs> all he knows is the game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. He might have no idea that The Undertaker used to, like, the. I know the version that scares you, Dano. Yeah. I know that version because it scared the shit out of me. It's the early one, right? That, like, yeah. he looked like he was menacingly, like, yeah. when Yoko Zuma broke like. his face. Yeah, like that. That's the one that scared me the most. And he came back with a stone face, like, oh, wait, wait, wait. wait. Is your is your purple get up? Was it more like that, or was it more like Barney? Which was it closer to? (laughs) Was it closer to? (laughs) It was. It was closer to brother love, but purple. Boom. Is it on your Instagram? Nope. You never see that one. (laughs) <laughs> you never see that one so I picked the right one <laughs> it's the worst one you picked the right one I'm gonna put a, I'm, there is, I just pulled it up Pull and it. Uh, I'm gonna put a picture of it up on the screen just because there's no way that Roberto knows what this is oh purple man yeah Yeah. please let it be the pixelated one where he's holding the phone like this hold on this like it looks like that. <laughs> Bear with us, the listeners of this podcast. Hi, Mark. Do 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 do. Anything you want to say to Mark James? Do 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 to to Mark James? Yeah, yes. I have I have nothing nothing unsurly to say to Mark James. Brutality Inc. New champs. Alex Evans. Salt of the earth. Yeah. Love them both. Alex Evans is probably on my list of people that uh, 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 uh there was this might answer your question. In yeah, that's purple man. Alexa, stop. Alexa, shut the fuck up. Oh, because it's okay, because of his name. Is if you say it close together, it does sound like her name. Evans. <laughs> oh man, this lady is listening to us at all times. Yeah. <laughs> you you don't have to worry about being canceled. Like if the government wanted you gone, you'd be gone already. I yeah. know. Is my- this it? Like this is just like this is it. 
Yeah. Yeah, that's the man. This is like if Barney was Slenderman. Wow. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> like, like Loki, Loki, that description is probably the best thing that encompasses all of it. He's like, yeah. he's like a security guard at a Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> he's like Grimace before he got fat. That's a good point. Yeah. He, he, he's, he's yeah, he he's does not paid. No, 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 this is Grimace five years after the fame. He's free base of cocaine Grimace. every day. This is crackhead Grimace. <laughs> crackhead Grimace. No. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, crackhead, Man, that was crackhead Grimace. <laughs> crackhead Grimace. Oh, man. Uh, oh, man. yeah. There's a, there's a question. There's an important question. Like, actually, okay. it's rough in the podcast. Yeah, we're we're taking this home. Uh, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, ten dollars. Uh, yeah, can I say it? Because I feel like the last time you said yeah, it, yeah, I don't, I don't say it right. I don't, I don't say it right. I've got the okay. hamburger one down, but I don't say that one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So let's say that you're you're out with the Godfather. You guys just had a good time. You're feeling a little hungry. You've got ten dollars. You want to get the most food possible. Where are you going, and what are you getting? What time is it? Uh, everything and everything is open in this world. Everything is open. Okay, yeah. and I have ten American dollars. Ten dollars. You have to account for tax and everything. Shoot. Um, I'm, I'm gonna go real basic. I'm gonna get a four for four. I'm gonna get a double stack. No onions. Heavy pickles. Um, I'm definitely getting spicy nuggets, not the regular nuggets. Um, I, my sauce is honey mustard. Give me as much as the Lord allows. And I want a strawberry lemonade. If they don't have it, Dr. Pepper. That's three things. What yeah. are you talking about? That's a four for no. four. The fries. It's you don't four. talk about the fries. The fries are the fourth. Yeah. 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 Anything extra like a baked potato, maybe? Nah. Nah. I, I, that's it. The extra fillers? That's it. Now, okay. if, if McDonald's wasn't uh, before inflation... It will be McDonald's. I would get a um I would get a quarter pounder meal, no onions, heavy pickles, um, Dr. Pepper to drink, and I'm getting two strawberry and cream pies. Ooh, cream pies. Uh, they used to call you me heavy tried. pickles in high school. <laughs> they used to do what? They used to call me heavy pickles in high school. <laughs> heavy pickle. <laughs> Yo, my daughter, my daughter got got this from wrestling and I didn't know where it came from for yeah. the longest. She used to call me Big Wool because I'm a heavy sweater. <laughs> and I was like, where did you get that from? <laughs> One of your favorite wrestlers, Big E. Like, oh, okay. Yeah, you got it. Awesome. Uh, so yeah. you, like, you like pickles. You're a yeah. pickle guy. I hate pickles. Yeah. I can't do pickles. I, I can't stand They ruin things for me. Sweet pickles. Pickles. Rip. Sweet pickles are good. Deal. Deal. Give me the sour. A pickle Give fucks me, up yeah, the whole I, plate, though, because it's got the, the wetness around it and everything yeah. around the pickle tastes like pickle. Yeah. yeah. So, are you a person that puts their onions near their tomatoes? I don't like onions. I don't like onions either. Or tomatoes. Okay. You oh, don't like tomatoes? No. I like I, I get my shit plain. I'm, I'm basic as fuck. You probably like put that. mayonnaise on your burgers too. Huh? I don't like mayonnaise, no. Oh, okay. Don't, put, don't, don't <laughs> be stereo. Don't be stereotyping. <laughs> it's too much damn mayonnaise. <laughs> mayonnaise. I have like a weird texture thing, so I'm. I like pretty much have the palate of like a, a little kid. Like uh, chicken burgers, plain burgers. Oh, now, I figured out an answer to your question that's not making me seem out of touch with my five guys. That's totally not. It doesn't qualify. I'm way out of the, the price range. Okay. You get the Big Mac okay. just by itself because you can't afford the entire meal just by itself. But you ask for another bun. Two oh, burgers. You got two burgers. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's it. That's all I got. I just had to redeem myself because, like, Katie to this day is like you out of touch, fuck. 
<laughs> my, grandma, my grandma went to sleep like way long ago. She didn't hear that part. But yeah, like, yeah, I just touched yeah he was like, I'm going to go to five stupid. guys. I was like, what? <laughs> That's your place in the world. Wow, guys, what are you going to get? be nice up there in your ivory tower. I just thought about like a lot of food and a bunch of fries, and I was like, "Yeah, I'm yeah. gonna go there because that's that." But then I was like, "Oh yeah, the ten dollar part." Yeah, I went to yeah. party into the podcast. I went to Five Guys like one one year. I went to um, I went to um, what is it, Senior Week or whatever for the beach? What oh like, every summer whatever. Yeah. So I went to Myrtle Beach. Now I'm I'm dating myself. Um, before. You had GPS on your phone. You had oh, print map out the fucking yeah, oh, MapQuest. So, oh, yeah. we done went to the beach. We spent just about all of our money. We we probably got about fifty dollars between both of us now. Like we we balled out. Um, I was driving a pink Cadillac at the time, not a Mary Kay Cadillac. It was bubblegum pink, and it had like a blueberry rag top. And it had 22 inch rims. Yes, I was that person. Um, yeah. <laughs> we're we're driving back, and I'm fucking starving. And the only place we've seen was Five Guys, and I've never been to Five Guys. Like, what is this? We go in there. Everything is expensive as shit. We try to cheap out. We tell the person, "Look, we we got enough money for gas and to get some food." Man. That woman gave us so many fries. I think she was flirting, <laughs> but she gave us so many fries. I was like, how the hell? How is my burger just on top of the bag like that? It's such a, <laughs> it's such a deep bag. Why is it? Oh, these are all fries. Oh, well, thank you. She winked at us and everything. I'm like, hell yeah. This is great. And now as an adult adult, I go to Five Guys and I'm like, I don't want to spend $50. Yeah, no. <laughs> that is fact, fifty dollars. So I got yelled at. It's fair. <laughs> if fact, I if I'm gonna spend fifty dollars on a meal, I'm going to Lulu Seafood in Lexington, Lexington, North Carolina. Lulu Seafood is on Main Street. Don't ask me the address. Yeah, this this podcast is sponsored by Lulu Seafood. So now yeah, I'm getting paid to do something for free. Shout See, out Lulu that's, Seafood. Listen, that, it's all about networking. That's why. Best manager of the year in, in the Carolinas. Yeah. Hands down. Like, I don't know who you I need that, to talk to. You hear to. that, Benjamin? Yeah, Benny. <laughs> I told him that I was going to take his award. And he was like, no, it doesn't work like that. I won this award. And I said, no, if you lose it, it becomes mine. That's why we never lost this. <laughs> forever <laughs> champs. We are forever champs. Never going to lose this title. Going out on a statement. Um, so Look, one of my lights done cut off. I don't care. <laughs> so motivated right now. Uh, yeah, I need to go run around the apartment complex a little bit. Um, so we're wrapping this up because uh, we started. We talked for like thirty minutes before we even hit recording. Like it was a struggle <laughs> to start this podcast. So my wife is probably wondering where I am. Uh, but who are some wrestlers that you think the more people should know about who are some commentators who are some managers that you think more people should know about anywhere doesn't matter if they're from North Carolina or not um people should know more about me yeah <laughs> hey you should know more about me I'm not on your TV enough I'm not on the, I'm not on your YouTube enough why are you not watching me right now I like after you watch me you should watch me yeah um where can people watch you man um all Caribbean wrestling. Um, one of the lead commentators over there, um, FWE, um, UPW, where else? I'm everywhere. Just ASJ the third. I'm on TikTok. I'm yeah, on you YouTube. funny shit on TikTok. I'm, like, okay. Um, commentators. Roberto Caprice Coleman. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, Roberto Moss. That was my number one, man. I'm, I'm going back. Oh, to so, so sorry. Didn't mean, to, didn't mean to make you come early on that one. April fucking fools. <laughs> <laughs> no, Roberto Moss is actually actually dope as shit. And if, it, if it's not me, it should be him. And if it's not him, it should be Tyler. But we're not getting in, into that. We're just like Hydra at this point. 
Um, yeah, Caprice Coleman. People should. Oh yeah. Caprice Coleman is dope on on commentary. Um, more people should know about Tim. Um, Tim should be on TV. Now, hands down, oh, Tim. Yeah. Tim should be on television. He has all the tools necessary to be on somebody's television. Um, more people should know about. More people should know about Alex Kane. Like yep. Alex Kane is not in in the conversation enough. Like we're we're talking about somebody who who has the same wrestling move set as Big E, and Big E is always in like top five, top ten conversations before he got hurt. Alex Kane should be in those top five, top ten conversations. Um, who else? This is a, a joint entry, but um, Joe Black and Huckabee. Everybody should know who these gentlemen are and they yeah. should really like look at their career because they are trendsetters. Do you yeah. remember the year that everybody got put through a windshield? Like everybody did like some type of like move and then dropped them through a windshield. It was because of them. It was because they yeah, did they that and went fired. fired. Yeah. They, and they got CM Punk fired. They didn't mean to but they did. <laughs> they got CM Punk fired. <laughs> it's all them. But yeah, if if it wasn't for if it wasn't for Huckabee and Joe Black, it's it's a lot of wrestler. Wrestling yeah. would look different. You there would I be would no Tim. That. There would be no Tim without Joe Black. You're right. Well, there, you know Alex Kane probably. There would be a Tim, but it wouldn't be the same Tim that we know. Right. It wouldn't be an Alex Kane. Yeah, like yeah, insane. Eric Donovan, um, another guy that's coming up out of there as well. So many guys. I'm sorry, what'd you say? Uh, Merrick Donovan. I think that's his name. Yes. I met him this weekend. He is dope. And yeah. that, I, no, I'm not going to say that because I don't know if I'm supposed to tell that. But I met him and he is awesome. And that's yeah. all I'm going to say about that. Um, I think that's it. I think I did five. Yeah, you could do. I think that was five. Also, um, Teddy. From Icon Pro Wrestling, pay what you owe. Oh, yeah, <laughs> let's hear um, let's, let's hear about this a little bit for those who don't know. Um, yeah, so a lot of people don't know that I helped him with Icon Pro Wrestling, much like how Live Laugh Larry does rundowns and they're doing the social media and they're helping, you know, behind the screens, they're helping with shows and things like that. Yeah, that was me. That's what I did. That's what I did. And I did it out of the kindness of my heart. But then I had to do things that required me to pay people. So I'm paying talent. So I'm I'm paying a Rob Killjoy to come out to an icon show. I'm paying the infinite man T.I.M. to come out to an icon show. And what do I get in return? Won't even answer my phone calls. Won't even answer my text. So I did what I had to do. And I got his attention. Do I have your attention now? All right. Damn, that was good. That yeah. was good. <laughs> awesome. Uh, well, this has been great. Uh, one question just to kind of tip this off. And we've talked so much about foods. So this might just be overkill at this point. But Christian's not here. And this is Christian's question. What's your go-to cookout tray? Oh, bet. So, Cajun filet. No mayonnaise. Um, Cajun fries. They have to have the Cajun seasoning on it, or I will throw the entire tray away. Cajun fries, chicken case Odia, huge tea. That's pretty good. Can I make a suggestion? This is a surprise that you didn't say this. This was Tim's answer a chicken quesadilla, extra chicken, add bacon. Yeah, yeah. I thought that was obvious. Okay, but I just didn't know. But yeah, that, that's uh, everybody doesn't do that. Dang. I literally answered five guys, my guy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's because you're wealthy. <laughs> I don't know shit about fuck my man. <laughs> you, you are wealthy. He said cookout tray. 
Well, I was at the spare ribs if they have them. Like (laughs) I was at the Olive Garden last week. (laughs) I was eating my endless breadsticks and laughing with my wine and my pinky. (laughs) Tour of Italy. (laughs) Hey, hey, Uh keep going with the Parmesan. (laughs) (laughs) Man, have you ever got drunk at Olive Garden before? I've been something like drunk at Olive Garden before. I <laughs> I had I'm like happy. not the glass of wine, but the thing that's not a bottle, but it's not a glass. I bought Correct. one of those and was fucked up in Olive Garden one day. <laughs> <laughs> I was lit. And I was in there by myself. Like it was oh. like a lunch break. I had to go back to I had to go back to work. <laughs> I'm like, oh, this is this is not good. <laughs> Oh man! Wow. Yeah, well, that's how we ended. Me being that's... drunk and all night. By yourself during your lunch break. Uh, this has been great. Um, definitely have to have you back on. I I'm pitching this now. I want a podcast with you guys on. We don't like. I, I guess our network, but uh, Roberto Moss and Alex Skipper Jenkins the third. You guys say the whole thing like a tribe called Quest. Um, Actually, you guys make up the name. We'll put it out. Um, I'm putting this out there so that other people will hold you guys accountable for it too. But um, this has been great. <laughs> accountability buddies. Yeah, yeah. yeah hooray! The uh, internet I is a great accountability this. buddy. Yeah. This, <laughs> this, is, yeah. this is how you can tell who your real fans are in the comments. Yeah. Put put like suggestions for the name of our podcast. Yeah. How we'll about that? Feed the algorithm. We'll find out. Really, really, really think about, like, ask your black friend first before you type it. And like, if you don't have any black friends, stop listening to our podcast, you racist piece of shit. No, I just oh, mean, like, like maybe it. some, maybe something you type may not be funny like you think. It's funny. <laughs> and I, I'm good at calling out racist. Okay. One yeah. thing. Can we call um, us some racist right now? <laughs> I, I'm not calling out racist, but I'm calling out racist things that wrestling fans do. Hell that, yes, let's get it. And, and they just think it's hilarious as shit. Like they see me now. Oh, it's Kofi Kingston. That's racist. Oh, it's T Pain. That's racist. <laughs> oh, what? I'm, I'm Booker T too. That's racist. What am I, Mark Henry? Am I the next person to be in the hurt business? Is that what we're saying? Yeah, it's racist. Stop it. <laughs> you know what? Let me get in on this too. You know what? <laughs> Je- I'm not Jesse Smollett. That's racist. That's Drake racist. Is not, Drake's, Drake's, uh, Drake's lineage is not the same as mine. That's racist. Racist. Uh, who else do we got here? Oh, my goodness. I'm running out of people. B- uh, Big Lotto. Perfect woman. If you say otherwise, that's racist. That is racist. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm really out of it. That's I mean, Sasha Banks like, is No, she's not. You're racist. No, she is not. Yeah, it's, ra- it's racist. That's racist. And Trinity? Queen, queen, Say queen. Otherwise, racist. Like, cause should've, I'm sick of it. Should have held the title multiple times. Let's talk about that. Should have oh. held the title multiple times. Got relegated to a Kofi Kingston spot in the women's rumble. I don't like it. Had the had the biggest pop for the biggest return of her career, and they didn't do anything with it. I'm mad. I'm sorry. I, I rambled. Oh, no. We got to do a part two. Yeah. DJ Envy, not Puerto Rican. That's racist. <laughs> I love this game. Whatever podcast we have, can we play this? Like at yeah. the end of the beginning of every episode, just like, hey, Wait. and this week, just want to let you know. I think we should end this episode by saying, um, stay out of Iredell County. Gunner is now a sheriff there. If you Gunner's go to his got Wikipedia, a gun. if you go to his Wikipedia page, it literally says that he thinks that Black Lives Matter is a terrorist group. So, uh, fuck Gunner. Just a big old piece of shit. <laughs> shout, out name, uh, shout out code name Flex. Hopefully you're better than that. <laughs> hey. Hey, shout out code name Flex, man. I met you once, bro. I really hope you're better. <laughs> code, name Flex, code name Flex is dope as shit. And he's a real paratrooper. How about that? Yeah, yeah bro. Get cool. you fucking fit in the gym, bad. too. Yeah, man. Like, how? Style is dope. I fucks with everything about that guy. I saw the show. I was like, yo, this is sick. Yeah. Yeah. But it went bad. Dan, 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 Uh, Where can everybody find you again? Uh, this is 
anything else you want to say, nobody's listening at this point. So literally, <laughs> you can say whatever the fuck you want. Um, literally, the the names on the screen. Um, I'm Googleable. If you type that in Google, I'm I'm gonna pop up. I'm Googleable. Yeah. Um, man, book me, book, book me, yeah. book Roberto Moss, book Thailand, or any of the combination of the two because book. we're awesome. We're the best. Commentator, commentators out of North Carolina. Um, if anybody tells you different, they're racist. Yeah, and then <laughs> if you racist. book them, you also have to book good guy, bad pants. Yep, factual, actual factual. Yeah, um, I do want to married. Like good guy, bad pants. I thank you because I actually came across you guys from Match of the Day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Match of the Day on fucking everything, but it was TikTok, and I was like. Yo, this is lit, follow. Oh, they're in North Carolina. Psh, hell yeah. This is dope. Yeah. And it's been it's been cool ever since. Thanks, man. I really appreciate it. Yeah, that's kind of that's how we started out trying to build a platform before we figured out what we wanted to do. So yeah, that was way before Roberto, Roberto even knew he fucking existed. <laughs> I like to think I did a lot of heavy lifting. You're welcome, bro. I mean, I <laughs> you came on the scene when we had something to offer him. <laughs> exactly. That's that's the best time to come on. Like, yeah, give me come I, lately. I, like, I, I don't want to be the first round draft pick. First round draft pick, you get you get drafted like the Spurs oh, or man. the Phoenix Suns. Like, no, I want to go to the Lakers. Yes. That's the thing at NBA 2K. You had to be bad enough to where you would get drafted by a good team, but not bad enough that you would just like not get drafted at all. There's another story the other day. Thank you so much, everybody, for listening. This has been really fun. This might be our longest episode ever. And if it is, I'm happy for it. Uh, We'd love to have you back on. We're going to get you guys a podcast. You guys are going to have a podcast here. Um, Leave comments in the, leave name suggestions in the comments. Love you, Grandma. Yeah, I, I'm so sorry for all the swear words I've said. Uh, I'm not. <laughs> You've been around long enough. You didn't heard all of these words. <laughs> Grandma. <laughs> I love you. Yeah, we all love you. Have a good have a good one.